Hey guys, how is it going? Today I want to talk about Tamarin. Have you heard about Tamarin? No? Then this video will tell you what it is and why it's so great. <laughs> When I started with Java, then um, back in, let me think, I, I heard about Java in 1996 and I went into a daytime job with Java, mostly full-time, in, in 2001. Yeah, it was about 2001 when, when Java became a major job. Um, Back then, I had to download from Sun Microsystems a JDK bundle with the tools and the, and the JRE and the JVM inside. And it was a, a closed source product. So, or Sun w was the only company that could contribute um, to Java itself. It, it was theirs, right? It was just theirs. And um, if if I had a problem with Java, then I had to ask them. So you needed a contract with Sun Microsystems to to get help if if there's a bug or, or you 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 have questions or anything. So if if you need support, you you needed to go to Sun. It was the only vendor of Java. Then then later they licensed the technology so. You could have Java from Microsoft, for example, or from IBM. So we, we could go uh, with um, IBM um, Java on IBM hardware, for example. So there was no contract with Sun Microsystems. There was a contract with IBM. And IBM had a contract to pay fees um, to Sun Microsystems. And uh, it was more or less... The, the same product certainly adapted to IBM hardware or, or whatever. Um, so still, it, it, it was a small world for wh where can you get Java from and where can you get support with Java. I, I was very happy when later um, Sun Microsystems decided to turn the JDK into open source. So the Open JDK project was founded with the, the licensees like IBM or Siemens or SAP or Hewlett Packard um, in the boat. So they worked together on the sole code source, the sole source of truth. But still it was not an open source project as we know it. Um, if, if I'm talking about open source, typically I'm talking about Apache, for example, uh, Maven or, or something where, where everybody can contribute and everybody can start a business on it. That, that was not possible with OpenJDK even in that times. It still was a closed world. You, you had to have contracts with uh, Sun and later with Oracle if you want to, to be part of that crowd. And um, they opened more and more. But even when, when Sun was sold to Oracle, still Oracle thought that Java is a, is a cash cow for them. And um, they, they wanted to, to put their hands on it, right? Um, so it, it took a rather long time until really everybody could simply contribute by going on uh, GitHub, uh, with your GitHub account, simply provide a pull request and push your contributions to the OpenJDK team and make it part of the OpenJDK. Uh, and by becoming part of OpenJDK, pushing it into literally every Java distribution. It's, it's more or less all based on, on OpenJDK. Yes, I, I know there, there are exceptions of that. But 99% is based on OpenJDK. But there was one thing left over that really bothered me. Um, if, if I wanted to get back the compiled binary from somewhere, I still had to go to IBM, to Oracle, 
uh, to SAP or, or, or wherever. So I, I need to go to a licensee of the Java technology to, to get a build. Oracle one day published builds on their servers, sure, but they had, well, restricted licenses. You, you couldn't do anything you want with that. So until recently, you always were, were bound by, by some of those vendors. Yes, I, I know there, there was like Debian doing their own build, right? But the majority of us was bound to one of those big vendors and to their ideas how the license and the support shall work like. And it was not much vendors. It was really a handful. And um, as more other companies stepped in, like uh, like Amazon with Coretto, the more pressure was on on Oracle, and and the more they they agreed to more opening, right? And um, there there was a group of people like I can remember the the London Java user group, and. Uh, also, like for example, Hendrik Ebers from iChuck, um, who, who thought th th there must be a real community binary I can pull without that license restrictions that those vendors put upon it. And so they set up a project called Adopt OpenJDK. They they pulled the original source code from OpenJDK and compile it for several platforms and publish that. But to do that, you, you need a lot of people, a lot of time. You, you need lawyers, which you have to pay. You need computers that do all the bills. Um, you need power. You, you have to buy your power bill. And you, you have a lot of money to put into that. And um, so they thought maybe the next step should be going to a big organization that can raise money to make this a stable project forever. And this is what happened um, to adopt OpenJDK. They, they went to the Eclipse Foundation. The, the details might, might not be so perfectly well explained. Um, ask Henry Gappos, he can explain very, very well. Um, but more or less, um, the, the, this is what happened to Adopt Open JDK. They, they went to the Eclipse Foundation, and the Eclipse Foundation they have lawyers, they have money, they they have build service, they have technical infrastructure. Um, they they help them to build a stable, huge, community-driven project that that will work in in the open with more contributors, um, un unrelated to any of the big companies. The big companies can contribute. They are not out of that. But the project itself will survive just from the community. They, they will be able to continue building for a lot of platforms, testing a lot of platforms. So uh, this is what Tamarine is. Tamarine is the, the JRE or the JDK. You can decide about that. Compiled by the Eclipse Foundation. And um, it, it's bundled uh, with Hotspot, for example, and it's made, made up from the original sources. So th this is a real vanilla build. There are other builds, like, for example, Azul Sulu, which, as far as I know, is not a vanilla build. They, they do improvements. If, if they won't, why should they call it Sulu? They could call it OpenJDK. And um, now the nice thing is about their build service, they, th that project went so well that not only everybody of us now has a license-free JDK and JRE that you can use without needing a lawyer, without making a contract with IBM or SAP or Oracle. You, you just use it. It's open source. Um, moreover, 
there are companies providing support contracts. And this is really funny because um, I, I now pull um, Tamarin, which is OpenJDK, compiled by the Eclipse Foundation, published um, as open source, um, give it to my customers, and the customers, if, if they need um, support, or if I need support, we can make a contract with any company. So one of these companies, for example, is Azul. Um, you know Azul from Sulu. Sulu is their own build. So they build OpenJDK, possibly with additions, I don't know. Um, and you have a support contract for Sulu. Now they offer a support contract for Tamarin. And that's great. So I don't have to use their build to get their support. I can combine the support of any company with the build that I select from the Tamarin website. And moreover, I don't select the build manual, the battery, way. they have a download API. So I told my Maven script using the Maven download plugin to always pick the latest security patch when I'm bundling a zip file from my customer. That's really cool. My customers have the latest JRE security patches inside of what they download from my bug fix server. And it's, it's built completely from open source and the support is selectable. So my customers don't have to have the same contractor like I have. Well, I could go with Azul. Um, they maybe go with IBM or Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft is in the boat with Tamarin. And I think this is the point where, where this project really finished the open sourcing of Java because now we have a free community that provides support for a product they do not own. And Oracle, more or less, is forced to adopt their improvements because if, if I find a bug and Azul fixes it, Azul can do a contribution to OpenJDK. OpenJDK, more or less, works democratically, so if the bug fix is correct and, and nice um, and doesn't break anything, they will adopt it. And it's not Oracle that decides it, it's a community and the bug fix is inside and the build is not done by Oracle or by Azul, but by the Eclipse Foundation. And my code then selects the patch it wants from the Eclipse Foundation. So this all is a chain of open source contributors and it's not controlled by Oracle. So this is, I, I wouldn't say the holy grail, but a, a huge step for the Java community. And I hope that you now understand why Tamarin is different to any other distribution and why it's so great and why you should definitely discuss if it makes sense to switch over from whatever Java distribution you have, whatever you distribute, whatever JDK you consume and use, over to Tamarin JDK and Tamarin JRE and to switch over from whatever support contract you have written or assigned to a support contract by anybody offering it for Tamarin. Think over that. That's great. So I, I hope this helps make up your mind about uh, Java and, and JRE distributions. And uh, yeah, for now, stay safe and as always, party on.